So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and this is the wonderful Wolverine, the Tier 5 turreted American TD. Look at this thing. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. Can't drive straight, obviously, but whatever. So, we're on Malanovka. It's a Tier 6 game, um, which isn't too bad matchmaking for me, but it's, you know, It'd be lovely if it was a tier 5 game, but um, I'm coming out here to try and get some early, or well, get into an early position where I can shoot at anything that tries to push up the hill or tries to go to the sort of F7 uh, area. Um, I come up here, I get spotted almost immediately. There's a, a KV-1, don't know what the hell the KV-1's doing there, but um, at least my spot get some uh, oh I get hit by a goat up on the hill at least my uh, spotting will have got me some assistance damage which is which is good and I got away with it um, I was amazed how far that KV-1 was forward um, it's been fast and furious in the first minute we've already it's already three to two in terms of uh, tanks down I haven't I fired that one shot on the KV-1 and missed I'm gonna push back up again trying to get back into a safe spot obviously it was that uh, M80 A1 that was spotting me oh and there's our friend in the KV-1 there's a VK up there and there's another VK making a run for it so we're going to use our 76 gun aiming just ahead of him of course aimed perfectly hit him did no damage just critical on his tracks second shot was okay third shot tracked him again and we got him in, in the last one so somebody's already moaning about hackers so you know usual thing um can't get a shot on that other vk unfortunately and the um kv1 is is not viewable for me either hill's being pushed very hard uh, got a shot ah oh, that was a nice shot i only noticed at the last minute that uh, m4 sherman was just giving me a, enough of his side and side of his turret to to pump a 76 mil shell into it and he went down so um, we're gonna push forward one of my pet uh, hates in uh, world of tanks and particularly for TDs and I love driving my TDs right um, but people are just too passive they sit back for far far too long and you've got to push forward you've got to try you got one of the biggest guns in the game first shot although there again it does fire blunt ammunition first shot on that Churchill um, didn't do anything second shot um, he'd already been whittled down and we just killed him for about 54 health oh KB1 side of his turret nice bang straight in there can we put another one in no he was pulling back and we do we hit him no can't see can't see from the hit log it's too faint um, anyway I'm gonna relocate again move on round gotta keep push gotta keep pushing gotta keep repositioning gotta keep moving um, and I was saying, I think I get frustrated with TD drivers that just camp at the back. Wow, that was a good shot. Didn't even see the outline on the replay, but I think that's the bug. Um, so I'm going to push forward. It's 10 plays 7. We should have this game. Um, there's an ARL up there who's kind of a bit isolated. Or he's got, oh, he's got some company. Okay, so we need to go up and then help him out. Help the team out. Try to shot on the move on the VK, but nah. They're all going to be dead before I get there. So we've done only done 500 damage. Got three kills though, which is nice, <clears throat> which helps with the mission. Trying to get uh, 150 kills for America. Um, can we get round behind that T50? No, we can't because he's gone down. So that was the worst possible move there. We got up there and we got spotted. There's two heavy tanks. There's a uh, KV-85 and a T1 heavy out here somewhere. <clears throat> They're more than likely going to be in and around. Um, well, what would have been the base in the normal conventional encounter game. Uh, obviously, this is sorry. This is the encounter. I mean, the normal. You know what I mean. Oh, I don't know. It's early. Can't see anything. And then I think, well, maybe they're not there. Maybe they've gone round the north. Because it's possible that while their team was busy dying down the 890 line, that they went all the way down the 123 line. Um, 
that was a bit of a bad move knocking out the uh, tree so I'm keeping an eye um, over the cap because my team are going to flush them out at some point and I'm a TD so TDs, TDs work best in ambush so um, I'm trying to set up ambush that Stug's got a good position probably the one I really wanted so we're going to be a bit more aggressive push up try and get into this other bush up here I think I might go further forward because this doesn't give great view back over where we spawned from so we're going to push up keep going I've got really good crew in this tank and I've got binos and camo net so uh, chances are we'll spot them before they spot us and indeed we do there is a full strength KV-85 um, I got spotted however but he's taking hits oh boy is he taking hits that's a good job he's going to be dead any minute now there we go so I think that's all assistance for me oh there's a T1 we can do a bit of working over of him first shot nice 102 damage second shot bang another 106 damage third shot bounced off his side just because he happened to turn at that minute another shot again 127 and tracked him nice can we finish him off yes we can all gravy for me good stuff thank you very much so remarkably that turned out to be an ace tanker game i think because of all the spotting i did more than the actual damage which is a rarity but the you know that's again one thing you you need to do when you are in these games the difference between a, a good game and an excellent game is generally the assistance damage you can do um, so by spotting uh, and I'm sure you all know this but by spotting an enemy tank and your team firing on it you get half the experience that you would have done if you'd shot the shot yourself so if you spot a tank um, that gets taken down I don't know from say a thousand hit points and wiped out you get equivalent of this as if you took 500 of them so if you spot like I did here one two three four five six seven eight tanks all of whom got hit and damaged you're getting an awful lot of extra XP um, and if you look at this I did damage due to assist a player's assistant 1715 I only did 1076 myself so I actually did uh, well mass isn't that good but almost uh, twice as much um, assistance as I did my own damage so there you go so it was an ace tanker uh, spotter because of all that spotting <laughs> Uh, fighter and far for effect uh, we came unsurprised you came second on base XP okay so the Wolverine had a monster game I mean, look at that 3,000 damage and two kills uh, for 1165 he only did 433 assistance so he did the uh, shooting I probably did the spotting so I did 1076 damage and four kills of course he's a tier higher than me so you know <laughs> miffed at that <laughs> fired 19 shots hit with 16 of them and penned with 11 for that 11 uh, for that 1076 damage we took one hit and it penetrated well the wolverine is not blessed with much armor so yeah you sometimes get lucky bouncing one off i've had them bounce off turrets occasionally but uh, you can't count on it you really just don't want to be spotted and um, you got to keep moving really that 1700 assistance made all the difference okay and we made 37 south nearly 37 and a half thousand credits after costs of which there weren't many just over 35,000, which is good in a premium if i hadn't had a premium account still would have been 22.7 uh credits so that's pretty good uh, <clears throat> experience 1000 and uh 1524 times three for the day gave me uh, 4572 again with a, um, a premium account if that hadn't been premium would have been just over 3000 xp so there you go another ace tanker in the wolverine i've lost count i should probably look it up but i can't remember now how many i've done but an awful lot in the wolverine um and you know i would always recommend if you've got a tank you really really like um just play it regularly just keep playing it doesn't you get you know it's it's no coincidence you get better with it with, with more practice and if you enjoy a tank and it fits your style play it a lot because you will get better and that will help your overall uh, performance and ability on the game so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video 
please click like down below and uh, click on the subscribe button. Lots of good stuff I'm trying to produce at the moment. Um, some exciting new developments coming in the channel, which is which is good. Um, subscriber numbers are up, which is brilliant. Makes me feel really good when every time I see another one arrive. So share share the video with your friends, family, kids, dogs, anything. I don't mind. And um, yeah, <laughs> above all though, enjoy your games, have fun. Remember, it's just a game, and I'll see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom out.